Okay, boys and girls, it is time for Charlotte's Web. So you're going to need a few things out in front of you. You will need your Charlotte's Web packet. It's inside of the envelope that I gave you along with your new packet, and it has a pink cover. And then you will need your book, Charlotte's Web, along with something to write with, a pen or a pencil. So if you don't have those things now, go ahead and gather them now. And welcome back, guys. So every day from here on out, I am going to be reading a chapter from our book, Charlotte's Web. And we're learning a lot about animals this trimester. A lot of what we're going to see are just kind of the way that farm animals behave on a farm, in particular, uh, spiders. So we're going to be looking at this type of invertebrate, too. Um, but it tells a really good tale about friendship, about being loyal. So it's one of my favorite books uh, to read in trimester three, and I just know that you guys are going to love it too. At the end of uh, the book, you are more than welcome to take the AR test for Charlotte's Web. Okay? Every time that we get together to do our read, I would want you to gather these same materials. So your book, something to write with, as well as your packet, okay? And you're going to need it. <clears throat> Inside of the packet are questions for every single chapter. And yes, we are going to do them. We will work on them together. There are some things that I'm gonna have you do on your own, but <clears throat> most of what we're doing from the packet, we're gonna work together on, okay? So what we usually do first is we read the questions first and then we answer them after we finish the chapter and they're pretty uh, simple questions there's usually only like five six or seven questions sometimes even less than that and so sometimes there'll be multiple choice sometimes it's write a sentence fill in the graph something like that and then attached to each chapter, I sometimes have added like pictures from the book. So here is one of the pictures from chapter one. And it's just for you to color. So if you see pictures like this in the packet, they are just coloring pages. And you're going to see quite a few of them in the packet, okay? So there's all the chapters, and then there will be some other activities, like I said, that you're going to do on your own that you don't need to watch a video or watch me do them. So for example, for chapter one, we have some, uh, we have a, uh, a cursive. So we have some words from chapter one that are in cursive that we're just going to write over here and this is something like an activity that you would do by yourself. Here's another activity to do on your own like coloring of the farm. Okay, um, another activity you're going to do on your own, spiders, interesting facts. Okay, so these independent ones are done without a video. All right, at the end of the book I am going to quiz you on it. So use this time to really answer the questions in your packet um, because the, the questions that I am going to pull from, uh, the questions that are on the quiz are usually questions that come from this packet. So make sure you take the notes, you follow along, and you get this done, okay? So that way it's not so hard for you when you have to take the quiz at the end of the trimester, all right? So that is the routine or the procedure for how we are going to do Charlotte's Web. You are more than welcome to follow along in your book and read with me, okay? And like I said, we'll do probably one chapter at a time. We will most likely um, do that. There will be maybe like a day or two where I will read two chapters because the chapters are so short. Another thing that I like to do at the beginning of every chapter is give you brand new vocabulary words. 
So sometimes I will read off the vocab, or actually every time, I will read off new vocabulary words. I will give you the meaning of them. And sometimes I will even show pictures on my Chromebook, on my computer, so that you have a better idea of what some of the vocabulary words are um, in the book. Okay? All right. So before we get started reading on um, Charlotte's Web Chapter 1, I am going to break this video into two parts. I'm going to first go over the questions in Chapter 1 and the vocabulary, and then I'll stop the video, and then I will restart the video, Part 2, where I read Chapter 1 and we answer the questions. Okay? <clears throat> All right. Let's get started. So open up your packet to Chapter 1, and let's take a look at the questions. Number 1. Why did Fern want to save the pig? A. Her dad wanted to do away with it. B. Her dad wanted to give it away. C. The pig was sick. <clears throat> Number two. What does the word rent mean? Big. Small. Ugly. And I think some of you already saw it when I showed you the new vocabulary words right here. Three, why do you think Mr. Arable changed his mind about killing the pig? Hmm, we're going to have to think about that question as we read. Four, what did Fern name the baby pig? So let's look out for that uh, question. Five, list three adjectives to describe Fern. So these are character traits. What three character traits would you give to Fern just by reading chapter one? So we have to read it first. And then number five, write one sentence about how Fern was feeling after she was given the pig. All right, so we read these questions to kind of give us a better idea of what we're looking for when we read the chapter. Now let's go over some of the new vocabulary words. Runt means the smallest. So let's do ourselves a favor. Let's just go ahead and circle letter B for number two. <clears throat> You're going to come across this word, distribute, which means to give or pass out. Some of you might have heard this word before, weakling. A weakling is someone or something lacking in physical strength. They're weak. That is a weakling. We have seen this word before when we talked about Martin Luther King Jr. Injustice. And the word injustice means unfairness. Something is unfair. And finally, we are going to come across the word called sopping. Sopping. When something is sopping, it is soaking wet. So some of you have walked in really, really heavy rains before when it was raining really hard outside and you came home and your clothes and your shoes and your socks and your hair was just sopping wet, right? Just soaked. Okay, one more word that I wanted to show you. You're going to read the word in chapter one, carton. And the carton that they are talking about in chapter one is this kind of carton. It's a wooden crate that looks just like this. Okay, so that is a carton. All right, boys and girls, we are about ready to get to read uh, chapter one in Charlotte's Web. So I will see you in the next video. Bye!